I picked up a Jumbo R for my Joann's, some water, Baker Spray, Quick Read 5000, and an X-Acto knife. You're going to flip your letter over and take your X-Acto knife and cut out the back like we did for my love sign that I made. Home Goods has had these letters, they're like jumbo jumbo letters, for like 40 bucks when they're made of concrete, so I decided to make my own. Take out all the insides of your letter so you're left with the shell, and then I had a quick thought right before I sprayed it with Baker Spray, I coated it with a clear spray paint to prevent leakage. Stir together your water and your concrete mix until you're happy. Grab your baking spray and you're just going to spray the entire inside of your letter and then pour the concrete directly in there. Once you have the amount that you like in there, go ahead and shake it and tap the sides to make sure all the air bubbles are out and leave it to dry for a couple of days. After letting this sit and dry for a couple of days, I saw some cracks and I think it was because I was a little impatient on taking it out. I should have left it a little bit longer. So I took some E6000 glue and I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this will work, but obviously I'll keep you guys updated on my social media since I'm not gonna repost a video in a couple of days when this is all dry. You're going to need an old frame. I actually had a shadow box frame from my old shadow box DIY that failed. An X-Acto knife, pencil, scissors, and a piece of paper. Trace out the piece of paper that fits your frame. Cut that out and begin to draw your pattern or quote or whatever it is you want in that frame onto that piece of paper and then cut that out with your X-Acto knife. I did these little circle things to kind of replicate something we already had from Home Goods downstairs. I double checked that the artwork fit inside my frame before moving on to tea dyeing, which is you just get a big bowl of tea and let the paper sit in there for a little bit to not make it as white. I didn't let it sit in there for long because I just wanted it a little tiny off white, not super, super white. So just pull it out whenever you're ready and let it dry. I had these super flimsy pieces of plastic so I just went ahead and traced the outside of my shadow box and made a piece of glass for it because the piece of glass I did have broke. Totally optional though. And there you go, a custom piece of wall decor. But you can do whatever you want. Obviously these circles aren't for everybody. I think I'm actually going to redo them to be completely honest. I really do love that you can see through this guy so when I put it up against the black wall in our bedroom it's just going to really pop. You will need your choice of spray paint, E6000 glue, hot glue, two pieces of wood, two foam spheres, size of your choice, and some skewer sticks and dowels. Grab your two spheres, X-Acto knife, two dowels, and E6000 glue. Cut out a hole at the bottom that's going to fit the dowel in. Put a dab of glue on there, shove the dowel in, and let it dry. Spray paint those and your wood pieces your base color. I cut my skewer sticks in half because I didn't want them super long and then all you're going to do is just jam them into the foam ball until you're happy. I only did the front half of these guys because they are resting against a wall, like directly against a wall, so I couldn't do the entire sphere. I then spray painted it with gold, but you can choose whatever accent color you want and then I went back in with the black and went super close to the sphere and just painted the inside of it black to give it that little target-esque feel. Next, I took my E6000 glue and my hot glue, put a dab on it, and put it on a wood board, and then balanced it on some bottles for it to dry. <laughs> Those are some cheaper versions of the Target little spiky balls in the interior decor section. So I was going to upcycle this with some paint, paintbrush, washi tape, pliers, spray paint, and a globe, but I didn't need the paint, the paintbrush, or the washi tape because I took it apart. I started spray painting my entire globe white, and then I kind of cut it open with a saw like this to create a planter. <laughs> This DIY was so spontaneous, I it like caught me by surprise, so sorry it's not super clean, but then I went and put the globe back together. I normally never do fake plants, but Michael's has some real good ones right now, plus our bedroom doesn't get the best lighting, so anything would die in it. So I just grabbed some florals that I liked, and then some floral foam, and then I stuffed the entire globe with foam. Then this is where you get creative. You just jab those plants right on in there. You can add moss like I am here. I topped it off with a succulent. It is totally up to you and the vibe of your space. That globe is definitely my favorite and it makes an awesome home decor piece and also you can use them as centerpieces at themed parties. So once all your home decor is done, you don't have to obviously style these together, but you just get to decorate your space and that's my most favorite thing because you put your personal touches to it and what better way to do that with some DIY room decor. 
Alright guys, that is it for this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this one. And go ahead and press that subscribe button if you have not yet. That is it for me today, you guys. I will see you next Wednesday.